You don't need shit. You need your legs because the only thing that propels you through space are these tree trunks right down here and your aerobic engine. What is going on folks? My name is Brendan. And welcome to my zoo. So my Zwift setup consists of four main things, all right? And we're gonna start up at the front here. You know, we'll move on down to the back because that's where the real magic happens. But up front, we have something really nice for y'all. Every good Zwift setup has a fan. You don't want to be pumping super hard, sweating off, and not having any airflow because you're gonna pass out if that's what the case is. So I have up here the premium, the creme de la creme smart fan, the only one on the market. Wow by none other than Wahoo. Come over here, let's take a little gander at this, all right? So we have right here, this smart fan. You know what, I dropped a couple bands on that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. It was about 400 bucks, but worth every single penny. How this works is you set it up to your heart rate monitor, or you could set it up to your smart trainer, and it can mimic the output of how fast you're going in the worldwide game of Zwift. All right, now this fan, like I said, it's a little bit premium, but I see so many people using the other fans and all that good stuff. Come on up here, come on up here. So that's the main part of the fan. You can use whatever you want, but I like that little premium touch on all my stuff. You know, I'm a little spicy. Now, you need a little bit of a stand as well. So this second part here is the Wahoo desk. You know what? I'm just gonna admit it right here. I'm a little bit of a Wahoo fan. I love boy. you, sugar. And the beauty of this desk is it's adjustable. So if you're a little taller, you can put it up. If you're a little smaller, put it down. You know what? It's a, uh, it's a pretty fantastic desk if I do say so myself. Again, we're putting a little bit of that premium flair because I like to blow that paper. It's not a thing around here. We get money all day long. I have Billy sitting in my desk. I'll show you a little later on. That's my prized possession. So, and on top of this desk, you know, of course, you need your main power host. You need your thing to run Zwift. Zwift can be run on a number of different things. I choose to use a laptop, but I also have a dope gaming rig down there that sometimes I throw up here, but you know what? For now, we're just using my little laptop. Come on over here. It's a Dell XPS 13, just a nice light ultra book, but you know what? You don't even need that because the downside of using a real computer or anything like that is you need this little dongle here no. called an Ant Quest dongle. And these on their own can run you 50, 60 bucks sometimes. I'm talking all Canadian dollars because you know what? We're not down in the great USA or in Europe. All you fantastic, fantastic folks, you are gonna have a little bit of a different price on this thing right here. All right, all right. I'm getting a little bit excited. This stuff gets me fired up, what can I say? So we're gonna move down onto the lower end of the spectrum for running Zwift. You can use your phone like I mentioned or you can use an iPad, but the best bang for your buck by far is using an Apple 4K TV. Now, what that is is pretty much just like a little box. You plug it into a TV and you have Zwift there and you're running it fantastically. You know, check out Shane Miller, GP Llama. He has fantastic tutorials on all this stuff. So I'll leave a link to his channel down below. It is some awesome videos. I'd be remiss if I didn't say I love this bike almost more than I love my girlfriend. You know what? That's just the God's honest truth, okay? So this bike right here, is a giant TCR Advanced Disc Zero, a 2017 model, premium. You know, we got that neon orange, the matte black. We are living at large with this guy right here. Take a look at these disc brakes right here too, you know? They're a little bit premium, it's not a big deal. But we're gonna pimp it out just a little bit more, you know? So, of course, every cyclist needs a power meter. And these right here are PowerTap P1 power pedals Oh yes, they are fantastic. So I've had this bike for probably about two and a half years now. I've done a couple Ironmans on it. It's, it's not a really a big deal. I qualify for Team Canada, represent on this bike right here. No triathlon bike need it, okay? No triathlon bike need it. I'm serious. 
So if anyone tells you you need some premium bike to do well, tell them that's jack sh**, all right? You don't need sh**, you need your legs, because the only thing that propels you through space are these tree trunks right down here, and your aerobic engine. And you can only build that by putting in the work. I'm getting a little fired up because I don't like to see you guys getting ripped off, okay? Okay? Come on down, I'll show you where the real magic happens on Zwift, the smart trainer. Now, you don't need a smart trainer. All you really need is a cadence sensor and you're off to the races. But for me, like I said, I throw that little bit of premium flair on everything I do, okay? Come on down here. So this is the Wahoo Kicker 2018 edition. That thing right there is gonna run you about 1,700 Canadian dollars, okay? But, so pretty much how this works is you connect it to your computer or your iPad or your phone over Amp Plus or Bluetooth, whatever you want. The choice is really 100% up to you, but it also depends on your device. So this thing right here, it connects into the world of Zwift and you pretty much just, it transforms your whole experience. I'm not lying when I say that. So what this does is when you're going up a hill, it puts resistance in to mimic that exact gradient of you going up the hill. <sighs> I don't know how these engineers do it, honestly. I'm an engineer myself, and this is just witchcraft, okay? It's just witchcraft. I have to take my sunglasses off so you see. It's, it's actually witchcraft, okay? <laughs> Nothing funny about that. The light shine in my eyes. Got to put these back down. So pretty much that's all you need for your Zwift setup. You don't need the premium stuff like me by any means. I just like to blow a bunch of money, so what can I do? All you really need for you beginners, I think, I would recommend getting a smart trainer at least because it gives you that little bit more of engagement, especially in these trying times where we can't even ride our bike outside. We need to have that little bit of extra flair so when race season comes along or your big group ride with your friends, you are fit and ready to go building that aerobic engine, building the tree trunks, all that good stuff. For your bike, you can use whatever bike you want. You can use that old mountain bike you had out in your shed. You can use a little cyclocross bike that you bought down the road at your local bike shop. Make sure you support local. Don't go to the Walmarts or Canadian Tires because they need to make a living, okay? That's just the God's honest truth. And if you're in Halifax, check out Cyclesmith. So the table here, you can use anything. I used to use this little breakfast table, you know, like, when I was a kid, I used to have that Sunday morning cereal on this little table here. It worked fantastic, but there are like a little attachments you can put on your handlebars to use, put your iPad or phone. There's, there's tons of solutions out there, whatever you want. For, like I said, to run Zwift, you don't need a computer. You can use your cell phone right here. They have it for both Android and iOS, so you have no excuse. No excuse. Now you do have to pay for Zwift. It's $18.99 Canadian per month, worth every darn penny because you can also run on there. I'll do a running video once I'm allowed to the gym to go on the treadmills, but for now, we're cycling and we're running outside, okay? All right, and for your fan solution, I'm just gonna be straight with you. If you don't get a fan before you start, I will come over to your house and pour water on your face because you need some way to be cooled down. Just let me know, I'll come over, I'll splash water on you. But really though, just buy a cheap fan, 15 bucks, something like that. Just a little circular one so you get a little bit of airflow. Open up a window, just please do something because I don't want to see you get hurt. I just don't. My fan solution's a little bit crazy, a little bit dramatic, and I don't think I'd really recommend it for a beginner Zwift user. But if you want to show me your Zwib as well, a Zwib, as most of you have probably figured out, is my Zwift crib the pain cave, all those generic words, but we're a little bit different up in here. So we call it the Zwib. So my Zwib here is the premium setup. The only thing we're missing, the only thing we're missing is the gradient simulator. And the gradient simulator, pretty much what it does, it lifts your bike up. It lifts your bike up when you're going up the hills. And I really do want that, but that's 850 Canadian dollars and uh, not even a big baller like me can afford that right now in these trying times. So on a scale of zero to 10, how much would you rate my Zwib setup? Zero is like how much you hated Lance Armstrong when you found out he was doping, to a 10, where you, how much you loved Lance Armstrong before you knew he was doping. Cause you know what? It all broke our hearts. We can't deny that. Now, 
When I heard that Chris Froome was allegedly doping and we all found out it was just whatever, it's just some drug that he had to take because he has admin, so everybody just shut up about that. I love Chris Froome and I hope he never gets in that controversy like Lance did, but I... Anyway, on a scale of zero to 10, how would you rate my web setup? I personally am giving it a, I can't, I can't lie. I'm not 100% happy with it. So I'm gonna give it an eight, but I think we can get there. I wanna see yours web setup. So take a picture of it on Instagram or make your own welcome to my Zwibs video and share it on Instagram. Make sure you tag me at Brendan Cam with three M's. I'll leave it in the description box down below. Go give me a follow. And of course, if you enjoyed this episode of Zwibs, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button and share it with your friends. So you know what? That's enough. Get 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 out of here. I've had enough of you. Get get out of here. Get no. Get out of here.